Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to see ASME Section 8, Division 1, Subsection A, UG 16 Clause E, Corrosion Allowance, in Design Formulas. We have all these courses available on our Thinkific platform. To learn more about these courses, register with the link given in the description. Now there is an interesting clause. When you see it, you might not able to appreciate that uh, clause, which is UG 16E, but it is, you know, very, very much important clause. What it says that whatever design formulas we see, whatever design formulas is given, design formulas given in code are in corroded condition. What does that mean? Whatever formula, yes, Seth, you're right. So whatever formulas are given in code, those are in corroded condition. So if, okay, if you have understood, yeah, Siva, you are very much right. So now let us understand it in a better way by taking one example. Okay, yes, Seth, UG27. So what we are trying to say here is let us say i have a vessel which i have to design with id 2000 okay i have a vessel with id 2000 and the corrosion allowance applicable is 3 mm so if you remember the formula of ug27 which seth is highlighting what is the formula it's p into r divided by sc minus 0.6 p so you forget about what is by divided there is r term there r is nothing but inside radius okay r is defined as inside radius so if my id is 2000 and corrosion allowance is 3 mm what will be my r value for that formula Danish is saying 1003. Muzamil is saying yes. Correct, correct. So perfectly right, guys. Perfectly right. It's because it is good. So it's see so somebody uh, I, I think said said that um, it's in include corrosion lines. We are not including corrosion, we are excluding corrosion lines because that ID which I said 2000. After giving corrosion allowance, the nominal plate which we are getting, that will be formed with ID of 2000. That means that plate is already having that corrosion allowance. So when I'm doing the calculation, I'm considering end of life situation. What will happen? Like if I'm designed for 20 years, that all the corrosion allowance will go away. Still, that component should be able to withstand the pressure and temperature which is which for which it is designed for getting it guys whatever thickness is left should be sufficient to take care the pressure and temperature at end of life okay so for that reason we are removing the corrosion allowance which is there in the ID. So by removing that, we got, yeah, at corroded condition, right? Said. So in corroded, we are making the vessel corroded. Okay. So we are checking that vessel in corroded condition. We are checking it for the end of life, right? Which should not be good for only for the start, but also at the end of life, also it should be able to withstand. Okay. I hope uh, the statement is clear to you guys. 